everyone, and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in this video, we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects, as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I wanted to give you a heads up on what content you could be expecting from me in the near future, as Leo in the Paris office has recently done a playthrough in French of the Footfalls Within from the Heart of Africa expansion for Solomon Kane, JT and I will be tackling that same story in English. My prototype copy of Anastir is scheduled to arrive on Wednesday, so as soon as I can get that rulebook read and understood, we'll be tackling that one too. I've also received a prototype of the Color of Madness standalone expansion for Darkest Dungeon, the board game. So JT and I will be getting that to the table soon as well. I've even sent him the rulebook for it, so we can both get savvy on it as quickly as possible. Now, this doesn't mean that this is going to be the order in which they will be tackled, however. I imagine that Anastir will take some amount of precedence, but we'll have to wait and see. But at least you know what's coming down the pike. This week I'll be putting my usual two videos on, Thursday and Friday, at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so be on the lookout for those. But for now, we do have more info on a couple of our projects, so let's get to them. Some big news for Super Fantasy Brawl today. Mythic Games is very proud to announce a partnership with Dyes for Tutorials for our games. Starting with Super Fantasy Brawl, tutorials for our games will be available on the Dyes website and mobile app. Dyes is a digital companion for tabletop games. Their tutorials teach you the game while you play, with no prep work needed before starting. This is especially great for those of you who prefer getting into the playing part sooner and learn the game as you go along. Once you've learned the basics, Dyzed also has the full rule set available with a built-in FAQ if you need to check some specific rules. Dyzed is simply a fantastic tool to learn how to play games. And we firmly believe that making games more accessible is a vital step to welcoming more people into our board gaming universe. Built-in tutorials are a great way to ease people into gaming as reading, teaching, and learning rules are often seen as a big obstacle. More of our games will fly the Dyzed logo in the future and we want to provide rules support to our games in multiple languages. Super Fantasy Brawl already has a dedicated tutorial in English, but we're going to be adding French and Spanish in the very near future. And we're looking into adding even more languages after that. At Mythic Games, we're committed to making our games as accessible as possible, and this tool provided by the fantastic team at Dyzed is a huge step in that direction. For Darkest Dungeon today, we've unfortunately not received the white samples from the factory as we'd hope we would before having to close the Pledge Manager for good. But every day we keep the Pledge Manager open, the closer we creep to putting ourselves in the predicament of not ordering enough product to cover our needs for fulfillment and after-sales support. So we're announcing the closing of the Pledge Manager for Friday, April 1st at midnight Central European Time, which will be Friday 6 p.m. Eastern Time for those of you in North America. We still intend on showing you the new configuration of the storage boxes as soon as the white samples arrive from the factory, and we definitely regret that it couldn't happen before we needed to close the Pledge Manager once again. Thank you all for your support and patience, and we're certainly excited to see Darkest Dungeon entering the production phase and eagerly looking forward to your receiving it. We will continue to provide relevant and consistent updates on the project as information is relayed from the factory. As many of you may have heard, Anastir is our next upcoming project on Kickstarter and has some neat little mechanisms and tidbits to it. To begin introducing you to this rich new world, we've been releasing some articles on our website and through our Facebook groups. The first article we released, Anastir the Origins, begins with an introduction to the world and how it came to be a world with which we are involved and some of the basic ideas concerning gameplay. The second article, Anastir Ready to Rumble, builds upon the last while still retaining an introductory tone and focuses in on some of the unique characteristics of the game in components and mechanisms. 
Our Facebook group has also been sharing a good bit of information on some of the characters you'll be controlling as players with 3D sculpts of the minis, accompanying artwork, and background lore. King of Average has already put up an unboxing video of the prototype he's received, and with my copy scheduled to show up tomorrow, I'll be endeavoring to get a gameplay video up as soon as possible, as mentioned earlier. There is also a Notify Me link that is live, which, after clicking it and providing your email, will alert you to the launch of the campaign on Kickstarter, and you can find the link to that, our Facebook group, and the unboxing video from King of Average in the description below. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English, and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions, or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show, because you just never know what Leo's going to do. As mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal this week for my two videos on Thursday and Friday, so be on the lookout for those. But that's it for today. Once again, stay safe and play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.